have a ballet background, yeah. right? Yeah, my mom's a ballet teacher. That's great. So yeah. how did that transition happen to go from ballet into hip-hop and then to kind of leave the stage world and go into film? Um, well, basically, in that order. Uh, I did ballet my whole life, obviously, because my mom was a ballet teacher mm -hmm. growing up. And then when I was about 14, I, I entered my first hip-hop class, and I fell in love with it. And that sort of just took over. Um, when I was about 16, I went on my first tour with Aaron Carter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was sort of <laughs> handpicked to <laughs> dance for him. I know it's funny now, but at the time, it was like the well, best uh, job cool. in the world. <laughs> It was so cool, so I got sort of hooked on the life, and I moved to L.A. when I was 17. Um, graduated high school early just so I could sort of get it out of the way. And then seven years of L.A., worked in L.A., kind of tackled every job that I would want to as a dancer, and the pinnacle of that being Michael Jackson. And after that, I sort of found it hard to go back to dancing for Justin Bieber and all those other types, right. no, nothing against them. Right. It was just sort of, it felt like sort of degressing a little bit. So I chose to make a transition into choreography and acting, and that's sort of where I'm at right now. How did you both find yourselves as choreographers? Yeah, I mean, I, I found mine, uh, my career as a choreographer in kind of the Step Up franchise, because uh, I was in Step Up 2 as an actor-dancer, and that was kind of like the first thing I did in, in the film world, and it was like amazing to me. And then I met John Chu, and we uh, started online dance battle against Miley Cyrus, mm -hmm. where I really, I wasn't, I didn't consider myself a choreographer, but we were like, it was just fun. We were shooting these battle videos, and John would be like, oh, go make a, something with these bottles. Like, and I'd be like, oh, okay. And he'd come back, he'd be like, you got it? And I'm like, yeah. And we'd tape it, and bam, done. And he'd be like, go make up something. And it was just fun. And then we kind of just all became a really close little family after we roasted Miley Cyrus, you know? <laughs> and then, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> And then that was it, and from there LXD happened, and I got to choreograph all this crazy stuff, and um, to, to get to come here now and be like, oh yeah, I got to choreograph on Step Up 4 is pretty amazing for me. Yeah. So what's the difference between knowing that there's yeah. a camera in front of you as opposed to just an I mean, audience? Yeah, no, definitely. So you think in the Oscars were, um, I mean, it's still, we still kind of got to plan it for camera because it's, it's a broadcast mm -hmm. live show. Um, so, it, but like for stage, it's just you need like, big visuals, to me that looks good at every seat of the house. And you have to, um, uh, for film, you have to really focus on, there's, there's a whole other element. The camera has to kind of be another dancer. Right. And you can choreograph subtleties. You can choreograph m more of emotions uh, within the dancers because you can be right there. Mm -hmm. And you can see it. I've done stuff where I've choreographed uh, eyes, like, and they're like, and they're like looking together. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, like, just so y you have all that extra ability to, to do things, um, and really the camera has to move with the dancers, for sure. And being a dancer, do you find that there's a difference between having that camera in front of you or having a live audience? There's definitely a difference, yeah. You can actually, you can contain the energy a little bit more in front of camera. You don't want to give it all away, you don't want to look so crazy, you can right. just sort of just do it. And, and obviously you're giving it, you know, a lot of energy, sure. but it's definitely different than, than stage performance. Do you guys have any advice for young dancers or choreographers? Take all styles. Take all styles of dance. It's only going to get you better. And if you're not in ballet, I consider ballet to sort of be like, you know, the, the tool that you're learning your, your instrument. You know, mm -hmm. if you're playing guitar, if you don't know how to play, you can't just start playing. And this is your instrument. This is your body. So ballet to me is not just ballet. It's not just, oh, it was made up in the, the French court and we're doing it for the king. It's it's dynamic of learning your instrument and learning your body and it's the best way to get in touch with that so yeah I teach ballet so <laughs> good answer <laughs> do you have anything Chris yeah I mean I think just take take every opportunity that that you can I mean if you if this dance camp happens here and you're like oh, I don't know I mean just do it like I think that's how I lived my whole life uh, when I got into dance and I just feel like I've seen it just being like Oh, that little opportunity I took, who would have thought that that would have been this, or that would have been that. I mean, I flew myself out to audition for a step up, too, by myself. It was an audition in Maryland. I just flew out. I was like, ah, oh, you know, wish me luck mm -hmm. I, it's for an audition. And it changed my life. So really just take every opportunity, um, be hungry for it. You got all these things that we didn't have. We didn't have YouTube mm -hmm. when we were trying to learn how to dance. So take advantage of that. You know, watch YouTube, learn from that, and then flip it and make it your own, and yeah, build it.